Um, welcome everyone to uh, the Central Highlands Regional Council uh, Gallery in, in Emerald. Um, and behind me you can see uh, once again another one of our uh, very comprehensive uh, singular artist uh, exhibitions uh, and one of the first for the new year in our Emerald Gallery. So um, I'm inviting you all to come down and have a look um, at the work of uh, Lynn Laver Ahmad who um, through circumstances all beyond her control um, was not able to be here for an official opening. So uh, we're going to invite you virtually um, to um, welcome to or be welcome to her opening here uh, at the Emerald Gallery. Uh, there are about, about 20 works here uh, these works uh, range from some line drawings and, and right through to some different mediums. Um, but I think the invitation is to come down and make sure that you uh, get the full appreciation of Lynn's work. As you can see behind me, uh, they range quite literally in size. Uh, there's a whole range of colours here. And this is uh, an opportunity for you to do some things uh, whilst we're in this situation where a few of us uh, can't get out or won't go out, uh, but this is an opportunity to come down. Now, important things you need to know, you're going to need one of these, uh, a mask, and you'll need to provide your proof of vaccination if you're over 16 years of age. But the gallery is open uh, during council hours, um, so you can come down here, uh, sign in, uh, and obviously get around and see Lynn's work. We've been encouraging um, artists from all over Queensland to display here, uh, and we've been very lucky to have uh, Lynn uh, to obviously provide the works for our first exhibition. Uh, I'm sorry that we couldn't all be together here, uh, but the thing is, uh, the work is here, uh, this space is for you to have, uh, so when you find the time, um, bring the kids, uh, bring the family down uh, at your leisure, and come and see Lynn Labor Ramat's display in the Emerald Gallery. Nature is my inspiration. I'm passionate about preserving our natural ecosystems and the flora and fauna of our unique Australian landscape. Um, I love being immersed in landscape, that's my thing, and responding to its energy and drawing on plain air and interpreting these feelings into the complexities of paint. I'm drawn to the cool of the pose of water. You will see a lot of water in my images and the space of the desert, which both offer their magic. Yeah. And, I, and I live a street away from the beach and I walk the beach most mornings. And um, I love, it's ever changing tides, um, the meditational walks, um, the detritus that the tide um, washes up for me to discover every day. It's always new. Sometimes I get caught by the tide, which is I have to take another walk, but uh, uh, I love it, love it, I love where I live and uh, I love travelling as well, I love exploring. It's always about a feeling that I give off, so I respond probably differently to different locations. So this body of work that's in the gallery is about light on landscape. Um, it was just not exactly about the light, it's about the internal light, uh, um, maybe. Um, that's probably a different, difficult concept to make. Um, so the body of work's really only about landscape and, and my impressions of it, etc., etc. Yeah, so I'm never quite sure sometimes where those feelings will take me, but yeah. uh, my first love really is drawing from the landscape. You know, and then, then I have to take it back to the studio and recreate. Well, never be the same as a drawing, because the drawing's mostly line and space, but painting's a whole different thing. So I've got to rely a lot, not just on sketches, but my memory of a feeling. Um, that's very important that I carry across a feeling. That's sometimes very elusive, <laughs> but. Uh, if it has a sense of a feeling of the place, I'm happy. Yeah, so, yeah. Sometimes they can be melancholy, sometimes they can be happy. Uh, uh, all spaces give off this kind of energy that uh, I can sense, I think. <laughs> Being in nature is my passion. You know, I love responding. I can feel its energy. Um, I love to interpret it. That's my joy. When I get back in the studio, it's another thing. You know, it's a different complexity altogether. But uh, that's my initial response. And, um, 
I love the Australian landscape. Yeah, there's a lot to offer. I'm never quite sure how my paintings will resolve themselves. I'm never quite sure. We go on a journey. Uh, I enjoy the explore, exploration and process and its frustrations. Um, that's the mystery and that's the challenge that art making offers up to me. I love the energy and the freshness and sometimes the marks are clumsy that I make. However, if it's got a life force, I'm happy. You know, I can I can sense a life force in your paintings. If it hasn't got that, it's it, it, it's it's finished for me. It's uh, spontaneous and uh, and I'm responding to that absolute joy that I feel. So, well, you, you're in your studio a lot, and it's very, it can be very very isolating. So um, you need to have your support systems around you and like like minded friends. I have a little plein air group that I go out with. And we enjoy that very much. Just to work every day on your on your um, artwork, um, you've got to develop a studio practice. You've got to work every day. You have to do something every day, you know, to build up that uh, uh, over of your work, you know. So yeah, it can be quite daunting um, working on a blank canvas sometimes, you know. And if you, you know you've got to pluck up courage sometimes to. Uh, uh, work on things. So, being an art teacher, we encouraged um, uh, diaries at school, you know. And uh, I often don't use use visual art diaries, unfortunately. I, and, and and so you you need to get a bank of marks and things like that. So um, I probably need to to use my visual art diary much more than I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I did. I always drew as a child my parents gave me a corner of a table and um, I must have been that kind of kid that that drew all the time um, I got known for my ballerinas and kangaroos at primary school funny but um at 46 I went to uh, university to study to be an artist then I thought well, well there's not too much money in the art so I'll be a teacher so I had to swap to become a, um, an art teacher so, uh, so yes, I think art schools, well, I could paint, but art school offers up many different directions and um, exposes you to new ideas. So I'll always do landscapes. I'll always, my dream is to have a little camper and go around Queensland. So I want to build a plane, a, a replica plane. And uh, I've got memories of my family who are in the aviation business and, um, I'm very interested in building a plane and installing it somewhere and um, and creating a, a story around this uh, this biplane that my dad used to fly. I've got a website which is Lynn Laver Armat. Um, they could, uh, I'm on Instagram and Facebook. On Instagram, I'm on Lynn Laver Armat. On Facebook, um, I would love people to join me and tell me what they think of the exhibition. That would be fabulous. And um, I show work up at Cedar Gallery uh, in Yungla. I show it at Artist Collective in Caneland and Milton Framers in Mackay.